hi everyone in this tutorial we will add resizing rotation and filters to our image editor so let's start the lecture and first of all I need to I am thinking that uh, I will write here a heading for my resizing okay and uh, I will use a markdown again so just write here st dot mark sorry uh, mark markdown okay and uh, I will I think I should use uh, maybe h2 tags okay so just write here h2 okay and uh, just close h2 tags uh, here sorry close them okay and inside these h2 tags uh, i will write uh, uh, r e s i z i n g resizing okay and i will say unsafe allow html to t r u true okay and i will make this thing in the center as well okay so just uh, write this part just copy this part okay uh, no sorry till that point okay so just copy it copy and uh, paste it here okay let's save it let's refresh it and before i browse it okay so let's add some more features to it and then we will browse it okay so uh, after uh, adding a, a markdown i need to ask user to enter the width and height of the image okay so uh, i will save my width width inside this width variable okay and i will say st dot numbr so i will use here a number input because i want to get numbers from the user okay so i will use here a number input and uh, i will say width width okay and uh, let's do this process for height as well height is equals to st dot uh, uh, numbr number input okay and then i will say h e i g s t height okay and uh, let's save it and now let's rerun this thing and see how it looks like now so just select the file open and yeah this is my resizing heading and this is the width and height so user can enter width and height but uh, here i am thinking that uh, instead of uh, zero zero i need to print these actual width and height of the image okay and then with the help of these plus and minus you send, a user can reduce and increase the size of the image okay so here again i will use another property of number widget that is value value is equals to n with the help of a pillow i can get the width and height of the image separately as well so as you can see here we are getting a tuple but i can get the separate width and the separate height as well okay so just right here img dot width width okay and this will return a width for us okay and uh, i will do the same process here as well value is equals to img dot heigst height okay now let's save it and let's refresh this thing browse files select the file open it and yeah now as you can see we have 19 20 and then uh, 12 80 okay so i think now it is looking quite better okay and uh, let's add a rotation feature here as well okay so just uh, copy this markdown okay just copy this one copy it and paste it here and instead of uh, resizing i will say r o t a t i on rotation okay and uh, in the rotation i will also ask user to enter numbers okay so i will use this st input widget okay so just copy it uh, paste it here okay but uh, here i will use degrw degree variable okay because i want user to enter numbers in the form of degrees okay or something like that okay and here instead of writing a label width i will say degrw degrees okay and uh, i will remove this part as well okay and uh, let's save it and uh, let's rerun this thing again browse file select image okay and yeah resizing and then degrees okay so i think it's looking 
quite good okay and now final thing which i need to add here is the filters okay so just right here again this markdown okay so just copy this line copy it and paste it here and instead of rotation i will say f i l t r s filters okay just save it and here uh, this pillow provide us a bunch of filters okay and i will use them so if you go open the official documentation of pillow as you can see here we have bunch of filters like blur contour detail edge enhance and uh, much more okay so i will use this blur and then i think this contour detail emboss as well then smooth feature okay i will use here a select box widget of streamlet okay so just right here st dot s e l e c t select box okay and then i will say f i l t r f i l t r s filters okay and uh, now inside the options or p t i u n options i will pass my filters name okay so like uh, first of all i will have a none filter okay so if user doesn't want to uh, apply any kind of filter he can select this none okay and uh, then i will have b l u r blur filter okay and then i will have d e t a i l detail filter and uh, then i will have maybe e m b o double emboss filter and then i will have like a sm double ot smooth filter okay i think it's enough you can use all of them but uh, for now i think it's enough okay and i will also save my these filters inside this filtrs filters variable okay and now let's save it and let's uh, refresh this thing and see how it is looking now browse file select image open it rotation resizing rotation and filters okay and these are my filters none blur detail and boss smooth okay i think it's good and here one thing that is uh, weird for me is this thing okay i think i should uh, write here a heading for them as well okay so if i let's 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 create here an other empty placeholder okay I'll write here n i i n f o info is equals to st dot e m p t y empty okay and uh, now below this thing and about these markdowns i will say inf info dot and uh, let's copy these markdown okay so just let's copy this one copy it and uh, paste it here and instead of resizing i will say inf or on information let's save it and uh, let's rerun this thing and browse file select file open it and yeah now i think it's looking quite good okay so information then this is the information then we have resizing feature rotation feature and then filters feature so in the next tutorial we will actually add functionality to each of these widgets and i will see you in that tutorial till that point bye bye